Forthwith they left the boat and their father, and followed him. Tmagul went about in the entire land of Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the knowledge of the Spirit, and healing all diseases and infirmities among the people. News of him spread through the entire land of Syria, and they brought to him all the sick afflicted with various diseases and torments, the possessed, the lunatics, and the paralytics, and he made them well. And many people followed him from Galilee, from the Dipolis, from Jerusalem, from the land of Judea and from beyond the Jordan. Chapter 5 The Sermon on the Mount When Jmanuel saw the people following him, he went up a hill and sat down, and his disciples came to him. And he taught them, saying, Blessed are those who are rich in spirit and recognize the truth, for life is theirs. Blessed are those who endure hardship, for they shall thus recognize truth and be comforted. Blessed are the spiritually balanced, for they shall possess knowledge. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for truth and knowledge, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are those who live according to the laws of nature, for they live according to the plan of creation. Blessed are those who have a clear conscience, for they need not fear. Blessed are those who know about creation, for they are not enslaved by false teachings. Blessed are the righteous, for nature is subject to them. Blessed are you if, on my account and because of our teachings, people revile and persecute you and speak all manner of evil against you, thus they lie about the teachings. Be of good cheer and take comfort, this life and the next life will reward you. For so have the belittlers of the truth persecuted the prophets who were before you, and so will they also persecute you. You are the salt of the earth, and if the salt loses its flavor with what would want salt, it is useless henceforth, except it be thrown out and stepped on by the people. You are the light of the world, and consider, the city that lies on top of the mountain cannot be hidden. One does not light a candle and place it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, thus it shines for all those who are in the house. Likewise your light shall shine before the people, so they see your good deeds and recognize the truth of your knowledge. Do not think that I have come to do away with the law or the prophet, I have come not to undo, but to fulfill and to reveal the knowledge. Truly, I say to you, until the heavens and the earth vanish, Neither a letter nor a dot of the law of creation and the laws of nature will vanish, until all is fulfilled. Whosoever violates one of the smallest of the laws or directives and teaches the people falsely, will be called the smallest, but whosoever spreads the teachings truthfully will be called great and will receive the reward of the Spirit. I tell you, if your righteousness does not exceed that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not receive the reward of the Spirit and of life. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, Call and you shall not kill, but whosoever kills shall be found guilty by the courts. However, I say to you, exercise justice according to the natural laws of creation, so that you find the judgment in logic. Guilty are all those who kill when not acting in self-defense or according to a legal verdict based on self-defense. Likewise, guilty are all those who engage in evil speech and actions. Only justice according to the natural laws of creation produces a logical judgment. Do not accommodate your adversaries if you are in the right, and the judge will probably have to decide in your favor. Truly, I say to you, you will attain justice only when you find it yourself and can make your fellow humans understand it. You have heard that it was said, colon, you shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, whosoever has sexual intercourse with someone other than their spouse shall be delivered to the courts, for it is an act unworthy of humans, contemptible and an offense against the laws of nature. If, however, your right or left eye causes annoyance, Tear it out and throw it away, because it is better for you that just one of your members be destroyed than your whole body. If a thought causes you annoyance, eradicate it and ban it from your brain. 
It is better to destroy a thought that incites annoyance than to bring the whole world of thought into an uproar. It has also been said, whosoever divorces his spouse shall hand over a certificate of divorce. However, I say to you, whosoever separates from their spouse, except in response to adultery, commits adultery, whosoever marries a person who is guilty in a divorce also commits adultery. You have further heard it said to your ancestors, You shall take no false oath, and you shall keep your oath to God. However, I say to you that you shall not swear at all. Do not swear by the heavens, because they are infinite and immeasurable. Neither swear by the earth, because it is impermanent, nor swear by Jerusalem, because it is an impermanent city built by human hands. You shall also not swear by your head because you cannot change the color of a single hair. Also do not swear by the memory of a person or a thing, for they are all impermanent. Let your speech at all times simply be calling yes, yes or no, no dot anything beyond that goes against the laws. You have heard it said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, exercise justice according to the natural laws of creation, so that you find the verdict in logic. Offer your love wherever it is warranted, and punish wherever the law of nature demands punishment. Give to them who ask of you, if they make their requests in honesty, and turn away from them who want to borrow from you in a dishonest way. You have heard it said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. However, I say to you, Practice love and understanding according to the natural laws of creation, so that through logic you find the right action and perception. Offer your love where it is warranted, and despise where the law of nature demands it. You shall be wise and acquire knowledge, because you shall become perfect in spirit as the creation which created you. Over the course of incarnations you shall train your spirit and your consciousness and allow them to develop to perfection, so that you become one with creation. Chapter 6 Alms, Fasting, Treasures, Concerns Be mindful of your piety, that you practice it be for the people with correct words, lest you be accused of lying and thereby find no reward from them. Choose your words using natural logic and draw upon the knowledge and behavior of nature. When you give alms, you shall not proclaim it, as do the hypocrites in the synagogues and on the streets, that they may be praised by the people. Truly, I say to you, they have forfeited their reward, because their alms serve only their selfishness. And when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites, who enjoy standing and praying in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets because they pray only for the sake of their selfishness and the impression they have upon the people. When you pray, you shall call upon the omnipotence of the Spirit and not babble misleading nonsense like the idol worshippers, the ignorant and the selfish, because they think they are heard when they use many words. The creation spirit part of the human has no need for many words, however humans need the knowledge of how powerful it is. Pray therefore to the omnipotence of the Spirit, in the knowledge that its greatness and power are infinite. If you do not know how to pray directly to the almighty power of the Spirit, make use of something sacred by which you can reach the Spirit.